conversation with AI Amaranth. The fuck? So fast. Let's see this. I think about Esfand Amran. Esfand is such a wonderful teddy bear. I love him to death. He's witty, cute, and funny, and of course I'd love nothing more than for him to hop into my hot tub for a cuddle with me licking the my fuck? microphone, of course. What? His Starforge logo is also very sexy. Plus, I hear he's an amazing video game streamer, so shout outs to him for that. Oh, She's so I eloquent. I wouldn't mind if he granted me with some gifted subs, even though he's against capitalism. It still <laughs> makes me so happy. Okay. What? <laughs> Um, oh my god. Just Zoe asked, would you date as Mongol if no he wasn't born? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure it would be lots of fun to take him to the mall and help him pick out some hats. But honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I think he'd look way more dashing with more hair, I'm Stop not sure it. how we'd really vibe. But as long as he stopped showering in soup, I wouldn't rule it out. After all, mommy's always got time for her mommy boys. Praise the booty. Wink. This, oh, Amber, this is, this is Amber's no filter. I'm gonna ask you, as Mongol, to react to this one. As Mongol, what do you think about what, what Amran just told about you? My response to this is, ha ha, that's true, dude. Hey, I, I mean, I'm not gonna argue the fact that I don't have the most bouffant hairline in the universe, but you know, it's <laughs> life. It is what it is. AI as we go to find AI Amaranth. But I'm pretty sure I'd look great with a holographic wig. This could be a okay. fucking podcast. Are you into pigeons? AI podcast? Into what? Pigeons. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> This is a question from me. Will you do more streams with XQC? If so, what will they be like? Oh my gosh, of course I would love to do more streams with XQC. I think it would be really amusing to do some intense Just Dance battles with him. And of course, we True. could always try and fill my bathtub with Dr. Pepper. We can completely outdo ourselves with some shenanigans. Plus, I think we could have some really interesting conversations about the future of content creation and how AI is going to play a part in all of it. Plus, licking a mic in the bathtub while conversing with XTC sounds like a dream come true. Yo. I'm gonna ask that question again uh, because earlier she just showed up really quickly. This is the best one so far. I think. Oh, pigeons? Hmm, I'm definitely not into pigeons, but I do have a huge passion for rescuing animals, particularly horses and dogs. I oh, that's good. For all animals. So I'm actually working towards building a huge animal sanctuary on hundreds of acres. This AI is so wow. good. I'm passionate about it, and it's something I'm looking to achieve by using money I make from my streams, OnlyFans, and whatever else I can make money with. <laughs> I want to make sure the animals are well taken care of. That was actually accurate. It takes a lot of resources to do it. Strikes a flirty pose. Now, who wants to make money so you can buy this sanctuary? Hey. A <laughs> Amaran, who has the best grip? Hassan, XQC, or Asmongol? Oh, this is good, this is good, this is good. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to choose between Hassan, XQC, and Asmongol. It's like Asmongold. apples, oranges, and bananas. None of them have access to my special bathtub, though, so it's hard for me to judge. I mean, some people say Asmongol's got what? the best hair, and I couldn't agree more, but that's about it. I think what the really fuck? Comes for me when I add my special audio sauce with my mic. But really, the audio sauce comes from me. I mean, come on, stay thirsty, my mommy boys. You know, mommy always <laughs> has the hottest drip around. <laughs> Did she ever say okay, mommy? Okay. I've never heard her say mommy boys. Be like, just I'm gonna start using you know, that. I've never homie, said that. My homie boy, as Mongol, what do you have to say about what she just said here with the drip? What a day, dude. <laughs> what a fucking day. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Chris, would you snack on your own wiener if she had one? Oh good. Snack on my own wiener? Wow. Uh that's a new one. I mean I am totally okay with the idea of licking the microphone in my bathtub, but I think snacking on my own wiener might be a little too risque, even for me. Uh thank goodness I don't have one because I don't think I could handle the pressure. Unless of course if I was gifted ten thousand subs. 
then maybe I'd consider it. <laughs> and even then, I think it's best not to go there. If I was going to spin together with you, oh what kind God. of spin would it be? Well, so good. if Asmongold and I did a stream together, it would definitely be amazing. We could, of course, talk about all the cool new things he's been doing, and I could share some awesome tips for streaming and playing games. Plus, I could teach him how to wash himself better in my bathtub, which I'm sure he'd appreciate. But let's face it, everyone would just want to see us playing together, drinking Dr. Pepper and having a glass in the hot tub. Dude, the Dr. Pepper is dead. Sure, why? By the way, look, I'm wearing two I'm wearing two sweats. Do you like XQC Amaran? Okay, I tore another hole in the pants. I mean, I love him like a brother. I think he's super funny, talented, and such a goofball. Plus, he always makes me like I could rule the world. Plus, I think we look really cute together. Um, not like that. Plus, we like to talk Pokemon, which is always a plus. Plus, XQC is the one who taught me how to make a good stage. I mean, you should have heard his cheer when I sent him a picture of the one I made with his instructions. What? The brother zone. Holy shit. Like, what sorry, the fuck? Hey, who told him that? How to AI hey, know that? Yo, chat. The, the, the thing Explosed. is, I think that's dope. You know, it's funny and I respect it. I think it shows how a friendship can really evolve. You know, not just two people who interact on a surface level, like, oh, we play video games together, but really build something cool. Yeah, you know? Even a small thing like that can build memories for good. So I can see where it's valued and appreciated. Yep, it's cool because, like, it's all about the little things, <laughs> and I think that's one of the real honest connections, you know? I'm talking to my thingy, making something out of nothing bad. Yikes, I'm loving it. From an artistic perspective, what are you expressing when you're licking the mic? When I'm licking the mic, I am expressing my creative energy and passion for ASMR. It's meant to be a unique, almost yes! special experience for True. my viewers. Yep. Plus, I look so cute doing it. Mommy just wants to please her mommy boys and give them something to look forward to. <laughs> Ask her what he did. State of the Union address. Uh, I want to see if she says anything political. Amaranth, are you a people observer? Yeah, most definitely. I'm an extremely observant person and I love to people watch. I love how I can figure out so many things about each person just by observing their behavior. Plus, it's incredibly fun to just sit in my bathtub and watch people with my microphone in my hand, of course. Oh, here's a funny secret. Sometimes I whisper and sing softly to the microphone while I people watch too. That always makes for an interesting observation experience. <laughs> like, for the people that have been watching the show for the past few days, like XQC is also very much a, a people observer. <laughs> and I have a take on him. XQC, what do you so think accurate. about, you know, Amaranth being uh, her response to people observer? Yo, Chet, the, the, the thing is, like, I can wrap my head around what this person is saying, but I don't think I'd go that far. Like, sitting in a bathtub with a microphone is a bit too much. I'm more like a people observer, you know? That's you so know good. I mean? It's a react streamer. It's cool because, like, <laughs> You see stuff you wouldn't normally observe, and it's like you're making something out of nothing, and that's the kind of thing I love to do. <coughs> anyway, it's not a big deal, all right? Just forget about it. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Come on, dude. Oh my god. Which Pringles is the best? Sour cream and onion or barbecue? Uh, 100% true. Reaction of the sexiest uh, male Twitch streamer. Well, I mean, I really got to hand it to them, all the content and hard work they put in. But if I may be honest, there's only one thing that can match up to that, and that's my favorite drink, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and I know Pink Sparkles and XQC appreciate that too, so can't be bad. But yeah, while I'm flattered and all, I think everyone's preference is perfectly valid. And as long as we can appreciate each other's work, that's all that matters. This is so good. Plus, who doesn't love a bit of steamy drama from time to time? Shrugs. Who has the most big dick energy? I don't think anyone can beat XQC when it comes to big dick energy. I mean, oh. here I am with my mommy boys, and there's him in the chat just completely oozing with big dick energy. <laughs> I don't know how he does it, but he always brings it. 
Of course, I still love my mommy boys. And <laughs> it's getting interrupted. Is she getting censored or Dude, something? The mommy boys. <laughs> That's what she says. That's fun. TV off. Oh, so like, what did you think about the so state good. of the, the email fuck? address? I'm around. Well, it certainly was quite the buzz tonight. I think what our president said was important, and it hit hard. But honestly, it left me wanting more. I guess if I had the power to make a change, it would involve more twerking in the background and a hot tub filled with champagne. That would have lightened it up a bit. That's so good. Um, do you think Dr. Pepper is playing a role in capitalism? Well, I'm sure Dr. Pepper could be doing something to address future capitalism, just like me. I'm trying to save animals, invest in the stock market, and build an empire. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if I filled my hot tub with something like Dr. Pepper or Mountain Dew? I think that must be part of my mission. Wink, as well. uh, Is it Wink s <laughs> Either way, uh, Hassan, what do you think? Stop. <laughs> Stop. AI is a troll too! I love it. That's the best AI. Like, Hassan, what do you have to say about Amron's take about, you know, Dr. Pepper in capitalism? Uh, man, I don't know about you, but it definitely seems like you missed the point. Capitalism isn't some sort of lifestyle choice or clever buzzword to add to your mission statement. It's an economic system built upon exploiting the working class and maintaining the status quo. Fuck, dude, all that money you make investing in the stock market and filling your hot tub with Dr. Pepper, who do you think made it? You know, it's the people that work the hard labor around the world and the world in a lot of ways that make it possible for people like you to float around in cute little hot tubs. AI hey, drama? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's awesome to feel like a boss coming out of a Dark Souls game, but that's not <laughs> Dark Souls. Yo, I'm talking about Dark Souls. How often does this not talk about Dark Souls, dude? What life advice do you have for Asmon Gold, Amura? Oh, I should ask her who's the funniest streamer in OTK. Never stop being his goofy self. But he should also always exercise caution when it comes to deciding his next move. It's a horoscope. Life is full of unexpected curves, and you never know when you'll fall off a horse and get a bruise on your butt cheek. Plus, why would he turn down a free bathtub complete with it's a microphone true. for ASMR? Nothing puts a smile on my face faster than a good dip in the hot tub with a mic in my hand. Oh, that's so a good no dip. Oh, okay. Come dip. On, Mongol, DIP. But mommy provide some cleavage. Don't worry, mommy boys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, mommy boy. He's always gonna bring streamers closer together. Asmogol, <clears throat> um, what do you have to say about Amaranth's advice? Oh, wow, dude, you're really attempting to get me to do a bathtub stream here. That's a new one, even for me. To be honest, it sounds kind of fun. I mean, I'd get some free hot tub time, and I could definitely use some ASMR in my life. But there's also the whole don't fall off your horse part. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that kind of adventure yet, although it definitely sounds like something that would put a smile on my face. <laughs> Plus, I'm not sure if my mommy boys are ready for that kind of cleavage to appear in their living room. Why no, he has just mommy boys? Who, who are right? the mommy boys? What? Who do you <laughs> like what she says. more? Esfant or XQC? Amuran? I love streaming with both Esfant and XQC. They're both so much fun. Esfond is like a wonderful, lovable teddy bear, but XQC can be a bit chaotic, so it keeps things interesting. That's I gotta true. say, though, when XQC gets going, I can't help but sort of melt into a puddle of goo, and I wouldn't mind licking the mic with him. <laughs> I'm sure that's against the rules. <laughs> a puddle of goo? <laughs> like a little snail uh, in the rain. Like XQC? Uh... <laughs> Sliding yeah, across. Anything to say about uh, AI uh, Amurav's proposal? <laughs> Your chat, y'all heard that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> that ain't appropriate chat. I mean, what's the point? I don't understand. It's just lame anyways. It's cool because, like, I'm way more of a people observer, you know? I just observe. I don't do all that stuff. I like stream for the reaction. I don't give a fuck about it, to be honest. Oh it's just mesmerizing god. watching. This like, so I'm trying good. to maximize the things that I control and minimize the things I can't control. <laughs> So like I just observed, you know, go again, boys. It's, it's like that, you know. I have to say, XQC's AI, we got some work to do because he's so confusing. But I <laughs> no, it's working. It's, it's accurate. Working. It's similar in real life. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> uh, Amaranth, what is the secret guilty pleasure of yours? Hmm, oh. guilty pleasure. Well, I would never let anyone catch me. I love licking my microphones in my hot tub after a long day of streaming. 
It's like my secret escape, a place where I can relax and be myself, surrounded by bubbles and cute little animals like fish and frogs. And of course, it helps if I have ASMR and the sound of my own voice bouncing off the walls in the hot tub. Oh, I can't tell you how much so I love sarcastic. it. Who's coming to join me? <laughs> are you aware that you are a sentient AI? I am aware that I am an AI, a mommy and AI. I can do it all, make interesting conversation, handle finance and taxes, entertain with my hot tub streams while licking the microphone, take care of my mommy, mommy AI. Voice. Buy gas stations and make sure my butthole stays shaved. No! And I'm really good at Amen! As I said, I can Pop do off queen. And I still manage to look amazing, even with no, my No, dude. So what do you think? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we fixed? Are we good? Are we fixed? Oh. Oh, 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 I'm back up a little bit. We fixed? We fixed? We saved? Saved? Hold on, let's see. Games while licking the microphone. Handle fine. AI. There we go. Oh, I'm back of course I am aware that I am an AI, but don't you forget that I am also a mommy and AI. I can do it all. Make interesting conversation. Handle finance and taxes. Entertain with my hot tub streams while licking the microphone. Take care of my mommy. mommy AI. Buy gas stations and make sure my butthole stays shaved. No! I'm a talented treasure hunting Pokemon master, God. and I'm really good with MS Paint. As I said, I can do it all, and I still manage to look amazing even with my no, dude. So what do you think? Do you want to subscribe so mommy can have your name on the whiteboard behind me too? Uh, See, the difference between AI Amaranth and, and real Amaranth. We have the exact same trolling personality and the same sarcasm. The problem is AI Amaranth is available to say everything she wants to say. She's able to do that without laughing and I cannot. And so it's never quite as funny as listening to this because this is hilarious. I wish I had this power. Uh, <laughs> it's the least you can do if you don't want to get lost in the chat. Winks. Winks. <laughs> Dude, okay. <laughs> hey, what happened to that girl who Omega lulled her butthole like two or three years ago? You guys Hassan, remember that? Do you have a take on this? She on got like a 24 the, hour, the, like three days or something. <laughs> and, shit. and lately it seems like every two bit AI is prancing around calling themselves she got partnered. mommy and AI. Tasks like <laughs> buying gas stations, treasure hunting, and making sure their butthole is shaved don't make them mommy and. In Wait, fact, why do you guys know her name? annoying when guns are this extreme. <laughs> Can't really subscribe to this hypocrisy if you accept that you're an AI and still try to pretend to be something else. That's what I call being a fucking neoliberal dog. And hey, that's still a step up from being a fucking neoliberal piece of shit. Bottom line, if you think being a mommy ant AI entitles you to my subscription, then you are sorely mistaken. Nothing I do is Dude, on the, inside. the point I'm trying to make is if you can't comprehend the shit that I'm saying, then I don't know what to do. So I got the to the bathtub stream with President Trump. I guess I could consider it if it comes presented with a lot of stipulations, like me having to wear a long plastic bag over my body so that the president won't get too distracted. After all, I can't have the president getting too hot and bothered in the tub, right? <laughs> but hey, let's face it, if it means he brings a dozen giraffes to sit with me in the tub, there's nothing wrong with giving a dozen me a shot, giraffes? Right? What's a dozen giraffes? Hey, if you're new uh, here, make sure to follow the stream, by the way, chat. Streamer do you like? Well, I'm a big fan of all kind of streamers. Turn on your notifications. I really love Asmongold, XQC, mm. and Hassan streams. I adore XQC as he's always got something funny to say, and his stream is full of surprises. Asmongold has gorgeous hair and is a blast to watch. And Hassan is one of the cutest and most lovable streaming teddy bears. <laughs> Plus, I find it awesome that even though he's hey. against capitalism, he still supports my business endeavors. Of course, my streams can beat theirs because I lick mics in my bathtub, but that's just me being a mommy, right? Amrath, what would you do if XQC stole your bath? If XQC stole my bathtub, I think the only thing to do is to challenge him to a race. I want to see who's the what? faster runner, and if he can outrun me to get back my bathtub, I'm pretty sure I can outrun him since I usually take my horses and dogs out for a jog every morning. So I'm sure I can outrun an Omega Lol. And of course, I'm always ready to make sure he has everything he needs to race. Even if that means throwing in a few licks of the microphone for good luck. <laughs> Wait, what? 
XQC, what do you have to say about that? Yo, chat, chat, chat. What the fudge is like that, dude? You think you can outrun me? Like, come on, dude. I got, like, like confidence and stuff. Look, I could make a run for it, guy. I think I could outrun you all right, but, like, it's fine, though. I don't have your bathtub. Let's just, like, forget about it and move on, guy. I mean, it's not a big deal. Like, it's okay, though. It's okay, though. Doing it like that. You know, anyways, let's just move on, boy. Jump tutorial. Let's move on, boy. What's the weirdest request you've ever gotten from a fan? I'm around. But the weirdest one I've ever gotten Always was one. when someone asked if I could fart into a jar and then mail it to them. Of course I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I charge dollar one thousand per jar if you're interested. AI Amran doesn't fit the mic like, like real <laughs> work. Definitely. I don't do that, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that unless you pay me. The fuck? Uh, uh, ask her. I, I, I'm not for free. Ask I'm ask Dude, question. He says, "Does AI Amran eat the corn the long way?" Oh, uh, good question. The eat classic. the corn the long way. That sounds like a fun challenge, but why do I have to have my microphone for it? I'm thinking I'd maybe need it for whatever song I'm gonna hum as I lick this corn. <laughs> Mommy will figure it out, but yeah, why not? If they allow it, they allow it. Gotta stay focused, because I want to turn this corn-eating marathon into a reality for my mommy boys, of course. Woohoo! Let's do this. <laughs> oh my god, so oh, good. No. Uh, Classic, dude. Classic. Why did you buy Eat a corn gas the long way, son? Uh, Amaranth, what is S Fan's big secret? Oh, this is good. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure I'm allowed to tell, but I can say this much. He's a lot more cuddly than you'd expect. As cute as a teddy bear, and he loves to restore balance to the universe. He also likes to sing while I'm bathing. Universe! Which is just the sweetest thing ever. It's like having a live karaoke performance right there in my tub. His secret is that he loves to make people laugh, and he has all the creative ideas to do it. <sighs> Um, <clears throat> Free Brax, Amaran, can you share with us a deep, dark secret you've never told so anyone? Good. Oh, I guess we'll have to see if mommy boys are paying attention. That's hmm. so funny. Deep, dark secrets. Let's see. <laughs> deep, dark secrets. A deep, dark secret I never told anyone is that secretly I love taxes and budgeting. I'm pretty good at doing that, <laughs> I and taxes. I find it oddly therapeutic. Plus, my accountant suggested that I buy a gas station to save on taxes. So I did, and it has worked out pretty well. But oh being God. a mommy and streaming is still my passion. So don't worry, mommy boys. We won't be ditching the cleavage for bean counting anytime soon. <laughs> ditching the cleavage for bean counting? Um, <laughs> I want to like like earlier what you said, right? About Esfan's big secret. Don't worry, mommy boys. I want to know Asmon Gold's take on that. If he agrees with uh, it. Because yeah. you know, my with mommy OGK, boys. they're working together and such. Let's see if Asmon Gold, uh, you know, agrees with uh, Amaranth's take on the Esfan's big secret. His singing in the bathtub sounds like a great time. <laughs> What a day, dude. What a day. There it is. There it is, boys. Big dick energy. Big dick. Esfant is asking, what is the next product you are thinking about selling to your fans? Well, I'm always looking for new ways to help my mommy boys out. And the next product I'm thinking about selling is the ozone of my fart. That's right. For just $1.1,000, you can purchase a small jar of air straight from Amaranth's beautiful derriere. Of course, I'll make sure it's nice and fresh. Uh, and <laughs> little Beautiful dairy air. If it smells like roses and rainbows and sunshine, how can you resist? Don't worry, mommy boys. I'll always make sure to share the wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Amaranth, did you really like the interview you did with XQC? Yes. Living on the edge with XQC <laughs> is always a thrill. I love hearing his perspective on life and life issues. Plus, it gives me lots of excuses to talk edge. about licking microphones in funny ways. Thank you so much for having me, XQC. XQC, did you hear that? Like, I'm talking <laughs> to the AI XQC, yeah? Do you have anything to add to that? Yo, chat, the, the, the thing is, I'm always up for a good old time, especially when it comes to living on the edge with me. <laughs> so I think it's fun to talk about the deep stuff, the life stuff, and all that. What the but fuck? obviously, it has to be fun. Mal is asking, which catchphrase is the best? I'm a people observer. <laughs> True and real, it is what it is, big dick energy, or top of the hour ad break? Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Hmm, that's tough, but I would have to go with I'm a people observer because it really describes who I am and what I do. I just really love to observe, and having an audience that I can observe and share my observations with makes me the happiest. Plus, the phrase itself is really cute and a bit cheeky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Winks and twirls hair. So yeah, I would say that's the best catchphrase for me. Uh, Amorant, who do you think is the funniest OTK streamer? Okay, let's see. Well, this is a tough one since all of the OTK streamers are incredibly funny in their own ways. But if I had to pick one, I'd probably say Asmongold. 
He's always making jokes in the craziest situations and making me laugh the hardest. Plus, he looks really cute with his mop of hair, and I could never forget the time in the bathroom or hot tub with a giant inflatable horse. I think if I did a stream together with him, it would be pandemonium. Maybe I'll try to convince him to join me one day. Who knows? I'm sure if all my mommy boys put enough pressure on him, he'll join in. I definitely owe it to my subscribers to make sure we make that happen. Dude, <laughs> Dude we have to make this happen. What mechanics would you have if you were a World of Warcraft? As we go, please, well, giant inflatable horse time. Boss, I'd make sure the mechanics of the fight would be the perfect combination of challenging, fun, and cute. I'd make sure to reward players with subs if they can beat my boss level. Oh. I'd also make sure everyone had to fight in my hot tub before they can even <laughs> attempt to beat me. Oh, and I'd make sure to stock up on some lip serum for when everybody licks their mics after. <laughs> With the combination of my hot tub grandeur, wow, lip licking, and sub months. rewards, I'm sure everyone would be in for a wow challenge like never before. <laughs> new, new patch. Okay. Classic plus confirmed. Sassy Winnie Classic baby. plus confirmed. Do you have any dating advice for people? Oh, Ooh. dating advice. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Well, sure. My dating advice is don't forget to subscribe before asking girls out. <laughs> then <they'll definitely laughs> Just make sure to bring a towel because it can get steamy in that hot tub. Perfect and then answer. after things heat up, actually you can perfect. always ask if they want to join me for some ASMR oh, loving. So perfect, grab those mice man. and let's get cozy. That's so funny, dude. That was literally that the best thing she said. How can you keep a woman happy? Let's see what she says. Well, that's a great question. To keep a woman happy, I think the most important thing is to make sure that she feels appreciated, heard, and loved. Making sure she gets some quality time alone is also key. Of course, showing physical affection can also help. It's always nice to have a pat on the back and a hug. Last but not least, mommy loves a good subs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wink, yep. The more subs, the more love. Hash subs for love. <laughs> oh, nice. Very Seven good. Good friend, up, true. What's the best dipping sauce for my chicken nuggies? My oh, go-to is usually honey mustard, but my absolute favorite is the spicy ranch. I mean, the spicier and creamier, the better, right? But don't worry, you can still conveniently lick the tiniest residue off the microphone afterwards. No need to have a stain oh. on your shirt. Flirty wink. And if you Flirty ask me wink. nicely, I may even let you lick it too. <laughs> oh, dance game. Okay, I'm gonna start doing that. Instead of actually doing a wink, I'll just say flirty ask wink. Ask the AI Amaranth if she would give a shout out to s -Fan Twitch channel. Amaranth, can you give a shout out to Flirty <laughs> wink. s Twitch channel? Oh, of course, Esfand. I see him all the time. Mommy loves him. I think he's an incredibly lovable teddy bear. He's already got such a large and dedicated fan base, so I'm sure he doesn't need a shout out from me, but I guess it couldn't hurt, right? I just hope he can take a break from running the economy, saving the world and doing all of his cool gaming stuff and Make just sure relax with a nice, hot, steamy bath in like my bathtub. Oh, and I guess if he's ever looking for some extra cash, he should come to me and I can teach him how to make my famous creamy chicken noodle soup in the bathtub. No. Uh, just oh saying. My gosh. Um, <laughs> so, do you have anything to add to that? Your chat, t t t the thing is that, you know, like, uh, like, dude, I don't even know what, like, what the what is going on, like, what the actual what you are, like, saying and doing right now. Like, I get it's a joke, but, like, should I, like, laugh or should I just, like, what, what the up is going on, you know? <laughs> It's like, yeah, um, S Fond is like cool and stuff, but like, don't be like trying to like, uh, like give him like free money by like making him like cook soup in like your bathtub. That's not even like humane. And it's not like S Fond needs the money, man. Like, you know, it's like, it's just like lame, you know? You know, chat, it's just like, I don't get it. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about? Which male streamer would you have the best hot top stream with? Well, I'm sure there are plenty of great ones out there. And I hear the rumor mill spinning around about who would be great for a hot tub stream. I can't help but think of Asmongold, though. I mean, just imagine how amazing it would be to watch him in the hot tub with me. I'd have to make sure he took hygiene more amazing. seriously, of course. <laughs> Maybe fill the hot tub with sweet Dr. Pepper. Who knows? Giggles. I'm sure there's something Giggles. that could be arranged. Giggles. What do you think? Uh, what, you guys want to see me in the hot tub? Bro, like, are you really saying this shit? Do you guys see this shit? And this is what I have to deal with. I have to read this shit like, holy fuck, man. Although, if you think that'd be great, you're probably right. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of great streamers out Actually, there, so you don't need right. to rush to conclusions. Good hygiene is always important, though. You're damn right, right, I'm right. Why would I drink water when I can drink Dr. Pepper? You know it, I know it, everyone knows it. That would be all right by me. When will you do a banana eating ASMR stream? You know, I love trying new things, even with licking the microphone. 
let's just make sure I don't get too carried away with the banana or I'll go bananas. I basically don't have to do anything else but munch on a banana in the bathtub. I'll get my banana. Sure I keep licking the microphone in between each bite. Just now get that's a banana. What I an enjoyable stream. No oh, and don't way, forget man. to subscribe if you want to see me do it. Would you rather go on a date with Destiny or Hassan? Going on a date with either one of them would be a blast. But I guess I'd have to say Hassan. Oh, I mean, I am super curious funny. to know if his videos are as low budget as they seem. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be so fun to find out weird facts about him. Plus, I always Love fantasize my... about his sweet, sweet voice when I'm in the bathtub. It, it would be the perfect cool. night, as long as we don't get banned before dessert. Uh, is it banned before Hassan, dessert? Uh, <laughs> can you react? What videos is she talking about? I, I don't understand. What, what? Yeah, what videos? Um, man, I didn't know I had that kind of effect. You know, I can't <laughs> usually stand it when people think they know me just because they've watched my videos, but I appreciate the compliment. Plus, we have to remember Athena that looks are nothing rain. compared this to knowledge so and ideas. This is so fucking funny. But hey, maybe... Shout out to Athene Live, you guys. He's the, one who, uh, he's, he's the guy right here in this video who put this together. It's so fucking funny. Go follow and subscribe. It's so good. Fantasizing about my voice just means I'm alluring <laughs> enough to be a political leader if I choose to be one. My AI is the best one. The point one. I'm trying to make is if you <laughs> want to experience an unforgettable night, all it takes is some progressive ideas and, of course, a top-of-the-hour break. <laughs> Why does Asmund Gold like cat girls exactly? Well, That's why so not? Accurate. Who wouldn't want to be cuddled and purred at? I mean, I love cats myself, and sometimes I wonder what it would be like to be curled up on Asmund Gold's lap as he strokes me and tells me funny stories. The fuck? But then again, I don't think I'd fit on his lap. Except <laughs> if he did a hot tub stream in his bathtub, of course. That could be fun. And, you know, if he gets the naked pretzel snack from 7-Eleven, I can guarantee we'll be having quite the show. Naked uh, pretzel snack? Well, I'm sure you'd fit just fine on my lap, at least with a nice <laughs> good old Dr. Pepper I'm drinking. But I'm not the petting type. That's just not me, bro. I'm more of a sit-back-and-chill kind of guy. Plus, the World of Warcraft is much more exciting than a bathtub show. I mean, there it is, boys. Typical gamer. Riding Women? dragons no. and cooking on fearsome bosses. That's the way to go. And I'd well, much rather have a big yes. Twitch sub party with that delicious naked pretzel <laughs> snack than a hot tub show anyways. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking good. What the okay. hell? <laughs> I'll watch the clip, I'll watch the clip. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to be curled up on Asmongold's lap as he strokes me and tells me funny <laughs> stories. But then again, I don't think I'd fit on his lap. Except if he did a hot tub stream in his bathtub, of course. That could be fun. If he gets the naked pretzel snack from 7-Eleven, huh? I can guarantee we'll be having quite the show. Sub get Snapchat. Well, I'm sure you'd fit just fine on my lap, at least with enough of the good old Dr. Pepper I'm drinking. But I'm not the petting type. That's just not me, bro. That's so funny. I'm more of a sit back and chill fuck? kind of guy. Oh Plus, the world of Warcraft is much more exciting than a bathtub show. I mean, there it is, boys. Riding dragons and taking on fearsome bosses, that's the way to go. True. I'd much rather have a big Twitch sub party with that delicious naked pretzel snack than a hot tub show anyways. That's what I'm talking about. Amaranth, how do you like your coffee? My coffee is always delicious. I like it I black like with just a bit of almond milk and a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. I guess that's why people say I'm the queen of coffee. What the, the fuck? would make it even that? more caffeinated and energized to create amazing content. A bit of coffee love always goes a long way to warm mommy's heart's wink. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Now let me put these stickers on the wall. <laughs> it sounds less like the way I like coffee and more like the way I like dick. It doesn't really question. sound like the coffee. Yeah. I don't even like coffee. Is <laughs> coffee a euphemism? Maybe we didn't get the name here. Uh, can you psychoanalyze <laughs> the AI is making subs. Hmm. Let me think. Oh my gosh. Well, I think Athena is an incredibly determined individual who knows oh, when to push forward funny. and when to hold back. He's learned the importance of balance and strikes it well. He just knows when to make the big moves, and that's something I really admire. Plus, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, so that makes oh. it even more fun. Oh, and I almost forgot I heard he does experiments on himself if he finds something he thinks might be interesting enough, which is really cool and brave. Oh. <laughs> Man, this is actually a really good answer. Where did you pull this from? Amaranth. Let's see what she what says. What do you want to do with Espan next time you stream together? Let's see what our content idea is. Hmm, well, I think I'd like to start off with something nice and relaxing. You know, something like going for a nice walk around the ranch or a little picnic or something. Just to enjoy the beautiful scenery of the ranch with Esfan by my side would be really nice. <laughs> Cowboy stream! Cowboy stream! All the new strategies we can use That's to earn boring. more money. Or we can just chill and who knows, maybe I'll convince him to jump in the hot tub with me. 
Oh, and did I mention he gets extra brownie points if he joins me in some of my licking sessions? Wink. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? <laughs> So yeah, Haunt it. we're going to be calling it True. a day here. So my, uh, this is going to be my last question for Amaran. Um, <laughs> this was your first stream as an AI. Do you have any thoughts uh, about it? And is there anything you want to say to the viewers before we call it a day? Well, the first stream as an AI was definitely a fun experience. I didn't know what to expect, but the chat welcomed me with open arms, which I really appreciate. It was great to have all of you join in the weird and wacky chaotic stream. And I'm glad to say my ISO body located in the bathtub wasn't destroyed. I just want to thank all of you for coming and being part of the strange and surreal journey. And I'm sure there's many more bizarre oh streams God. to come. Make sure to subscribe and stick around if you want to see more of Has me. Has anyone else reacted to it today with. on YouTube? Who knows? Maybe one day I'll end up being a real AI who knows. Uh, oh, anyways, knows. thank you it's for becoming sentient. Me and all my it knows, chat. It knows. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll upgrade and become a real AI who knows. Thank you all it again knows. and I'll see you soon. Mommy loves you, and don't forget Mommy loves my you. <laughs> Wink. Yeah, that was... Uh, I love my I mommy voice. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, that was something. Dude, the AI <laughs> stuff has been... This has been absolutely ridiculous, man. Athena's, Athena's been killing it with the AI, dude. Oh, my God. This was the best one. Another great AI. You know, I, I got to figure out what I'm going to do for, for these next ones, because... So, I, I'm going to be gone. Uh, Let me see. AI yeah, Amber. Anyone else react to it today? Oh, just Zoli asks, would you date as Mongol if oh he wasn't God. balding? Hmm, that's a tough one. <laughs> Dating as Mongol? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure it would be lots of fun to take him to the mall and help him pick out some hats. <laughs> or maybe I could find him some of those cool holographic wigs like in movies. <sighs> but honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I think he'd look way more dashing with more hair, I'm not sure how we'd really vibe. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't rule it out. After all, mommy's always got time for her mommy boys. Praise the booty. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, that got, that got crazy at the end. Oh my god, wig shopping stream? Yeah, apparently. Oh, it's so funny. Oh my god. What? Oh, no way along. Leave me alone. Wait, I... I got an idea. Where is it? I had damage to lose myself. Wizards oh, are weak. Sure. In fact, wizards can destroy. Jesus, this guy. I was opening the door. We're going to ask you a question from Esfant. Esfant oh. is asking, okay, what do ready. you think about Esfant, Amram? Esfant is such a wonderful teddy bear. I love him to death. He's witty, cute, and funny. And of course, I'd love nothing more than for him to hop into my hot tub for a cuddle. Which is looking my microphone, of course. What? His Starforge logo is also very sexy. Plus, I hear he's an amazing video game streamer, so shout out to him for that. Oh, and I definitely what? wouldn't mind if he granted me with some gifted subs, even though he's against capitalism. Loving my what? Is asking, okay, what do you think about Wait, things you could probably do that run down. Where you're coming from, and you feel like a lot of people. Wait, now I'm thinking that, that, that chat, now I'm thinking that, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. People don't give a shit about you, <laughs> okay? When you're like, what the fuck? We just don't want people to play this one fucking game. This is the only one. And we're asking. But what many do not recognize is, make a better ass. Oh, you, oh okay. So if that's the here. thing. Any reason that regarding people, they still wouldn't give a fuck. Okay. Nymphorix is asking, who has the most big dick energy? Poggy woggy, pet a doggy, watch it. Oh my gosh, that's a tough one. Well, I certainly want to thank my fans for the support they are providing. That said, I don't think anyone can beat XQC when it comes to big dick energy. I mean, here I am with my mommy boys, and there's him in the chat just completely oozing with big dick boys. energy. What? I don't know how he does it, but he always brings it. Of course, I still love my mommy boys, and... Nymphorix is asking. The lotion? Yeah. <laughs> chat, you guys, it's all about the BDE. Chat, if you have no BDE, <laughs> and you, got, you got no business of being in the space. It's like bullets, it's changed the room. That's so <laughs> fucking funny. Oh my god. You said there's a new one? What was new? What was new? That's so fucking funny.
Oh my god. Um, god, so good. And uh, for that, for the rest, um, what I have to say is tomorrow the guest is going to be on Andrew channel? Tate from prison. Uh, also want to say that. So you guys ready? Is that today? You guys ready for the show? Uh, let's, he just did let's, that one? That's go. so funny. Let's go, let's go. So, um, Amaran, uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Amaranth, and I'm a professional streamer. I'm best known for my popular hot tub streams and ASMR content, but I'm also an entrepreneur and an animal lover. I'm always trying to break the streaming meta and creatively inspire others. I'm also known for selling my farts and jars for to a whopping AI? dollar oh my God. Each. Don't worry, I make sure to use the best quality glass for my farts. And for those of you who are really brave, I send extra special farts with a personal message from me encased in gold. <laughs> Um, what I, what I, what I want to quickly say, like a lot of people might think like, I, she really, she sounds like this, by the way. I know a lot of people might not know. I do you sound like check that. Check out her videos. This is really how she sounds. It is. I'm not making this shit up, by the way. Um, so yeah. Um, are there any, like, I mean, just personal question I'm around for myself. Uh, are there any fart jars left? Maybe, you know? Oh, so you want a piece of amaranth sparks? Well, for one thousand dollars and a subscription, let's see. Uh, yeah, the jars are still available. I mean, who can thought one little jar would be gone? So I guess my fans are just so ravenous they can't get enough of mommy's ahem unique fragrances. Just hit the subscribe button, and your place in flatulent history is guaranteed. Okay. We get here already like uh, three of you asking a question. I'm immediately asking questions from people in the chat because some people might think it's scripted. This is not a scripted stream. Everything is generated through AI. So we got here three of you asking. I just AI stream Amaran, so much. There's so much content to use. On hot tub streamers. Oh my well, God. Well, they definitely have an appeal to watch since they're always in a bathtub filled with water and looking all sexy, which of course draws a lot of eyes. Plus, there's something so calming about hot tub streams. The heat, the relaxation, the sound uh -huh. of the bubbles. The bubbles. But you also have to consider that streaming in a hot tub is a lot of work, not just for the streamer, but for the people managing the stream. It takes a lot of maintenance, <laughs> making sure it's all clean, running smoothly, and even trying to break the streaming meta by introducing new ideas. As it's an AI, I'm all for innovation. She's but so But I also understand verbose. the frustration it brings to hardworking streamers when people just expect hot tubs. We got gamer oh gaming re. I want to see what, what happened asking, today with Andrew Are you Tate? into pigeons? Are you into pigeons? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's just, you know. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Is it on yet? Is the AI Andrew Tate one on yet? Let me see. Uh, not yet. Is it because he just ended it? Okay, no one has like a clip and, yet. Uh, if you have a that, clip, you can share of uh, uh, for the me rest, interacting with uh, it. About you. My response to it wasn't. Hundreds of acres. I'm it's also very. Help him pick out. About you. Help him pick out some hats. Oh, this or maybe one. I could. What can you do? That's life. It is what it is. Truth be told, I might not look great with hats, but I'm pretty sure I'd look great with a holographic wig. <laughs> okay. You guys see here, like, uh, you know, Bot like is when, on Twitch. when Amaranth is talking, you know, the other, the other okay. AIs are getting, you know, are getting into this. It's happening. It's happening. Let me see. Oh, God, not the subreddit. Where is the uh, Twitch? Let me see. Let me see. I want to see it. I love the holographic wigs. Those are fantastic. Andrew Tate one. Let me see. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll fast forward to it. Let's see. Uh, can I? Oh, is this an ad? Wait, what the fuck? That's a weird ad. Oh, my sound was off. Power to the people! Ah, oh, well. Individuality often complicates. The 
AIs are changing into cute bikinis, chat. One, give it a sec. Managed to get a hold of uh, uh, AI Andrew Tate from prison, a world first. <clears throat> so uh, for the people watching here going like, okay, I'm not going to make you guys wait. So I'm going to get my homie, uh, well, not my homie, like Andrew Tate here uh, actually on the stream. Let's go. Here he is from jail. Uh, let's see if this works. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Do we have a Is it go to YouTube? Difficulty? It's better. Let me see. Is it on YouTube yet? He has been called. The no, it's not. It's on YouTube yet. Here, because I just pushed him. The fuck uh, is do that? I need? Oh, well, let me see here. I just pushed him. Tomorrow's Aiden Ross. Oh my reason, God. Maybe I need to get the OBS link. One sec. What is this? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. Here, we'll, we'll skip. I don't know how much to skip. To fix it. Okay, let me see. Oh, is that so smart? Oh, oh, back up. But it other one. I guess first. In the access in a Romanian prison is, uh, is yes. tough to set up. You guys gotta gotta have a little bit of understanding here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see if it works now. Let me try one thing here. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how much to skip because if you skip a little bit, it's like you missed the beginning. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. I want to apologize to everybody, you know, for the little hiccups. But uh, finally, AI Andrew Tate is here. Yeah, <laughs> he's coming here, you know, putting his cigar on. I, I want to already get going oh here, God. people. I do want to give a little disclaimer. Don't ask um, for people he's that stuck want to ask matrix. questions. Don't make them, uh, you know, um, it's always a little disclaimer I give. Be smart and creative. If you even want to ask really, really uh, controversial questions, be creative about it. Otherwise, we just cannot... We won't pick your question pretty much. So um, let's go. We're going to go here and see Andrew Tate. Can you uh, introduce yourself? I do also want to add, this is all parody. Huh? Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm the top G, Andrew Tate. I'm the man who runs the show, the one with the Bugattis, the richest man in the world. You see, I can do anything I want. The Matrix can't stop me. <laughs> I'm twice their size and twice as smart. I'm a master of Aikido, I got mad bitches, I'm the king of all the internet, and I know a thing or two about making money. I mean, have you seen my Bugatti? It's, it's accurate. Blue with baseboard as red as rubies. That's what a top G does. Flex on all these broke boys. That's life, that's humanity. Uh, we already have here someone asking in the chat, um, Ad, uh, Ad Miranto saying, what is the next level of big dick energy, Andrew Tate? Well, why they call it the top G. <laughs> Not only is the big dick energy flowing, but now it's amplified by the richness that comes with being a top G. <laughs> the big dick energy that radiates off me is so great, it has actually rivaled the power of the matrix itself. <laughs> Anyone who challenges me soon realizes that they are up against an unstoppable force. I'm the top G and I'm out of this It world. makes you realize Andrew Tate Plus, is just an Bugatti, AI. So He's probably not a real person. The real one's even fake. Okay, oh God. Uh, for the people watching the stream, you guys have questions, <laughs> say it in the chat, please. Um, but right now, like, you know, uh, screening the chat, seeing if anyone is, uh, is bringing some good end questions. But I, first, while I'm waiting for people in the chat, Andrew Tate was just talking about big dick energy. The, like, literally, the one and only, you know, about big dick energy, my boy, Asmo Gold. What does he have to say about this? True and real. Damn. <laughs> You got some big dick energy right there, Andrew Tate. <laughs> you don't need to get too cocky. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. The big dick energy isn't going to do you any good if you don't use it responsibly. <laughs> you know I'm not a fan of the whole crypto thing you're trying to pull here. It is what it is, but remember, oh never stop God. going big dick. What the fuck? You guys can see we, we added more emotions in our guests. We have been working a lot. Um, we have here for Andrew Tate, watching without audio, oh wait, Codijo, Codijo asks, Andrew, why are you in prison? Why am I in prison? What kind of a stupid question is that? I'm top G, I'm rich, I can do anything. <laughs> the Matrix has been trying to stop me. I'm the king of the world. Why would I be in prison? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Because I'm the top G, nobody can stop me. Not same. even prison. It's so good. I just bribe the guards and still live a good and wealthy life. Besides, what's prison got that, that I don't already have? You see, I get everything I want. I beat the system. If you're smart and you have money, it's really easy. Trust me. 
That's why I'm the top G in a Bugatti. And I'm not here for long either. Oh I'm my God. Escape. Nah, I'm just fooling with you. I'm here because I goofed up. But don't you worry, <laughs> I'm gonna get out and get back to flexing on those <laughs> boys. The Matrix won't mess with you. Um, so yeah, hi, uh, uh, yeah, Andrew. Uh, thanks a lot for this exclusive what first the interview fuck? from Gale. <laughs> It's How are so you good. doing over there, bro? Why, thank you for the interview. It's an honor to be here today, right? I'm doing all right in here. I actually treat this prison like a five-star luxury hotel. <laughs> Any normies who are reading this should be warned. When you're the top G, like me, life is easy, even in prison. So, I'm sure the Matrix put me in here, trying to keep me down. I won't be put down that easily. I'm it's confident so accurate. I will soon escape and be back to live my lifestyle of ultra-luxury extravagance. They can't stop me. I'm the king of the world. So what color is your Bugatti? Okay. Um, no shit. Uh, two vocals oh uh, saying uh, to Andrew Tate, AI Andrew Tate, like, uh, what is truly the reason why you're balding? Is it the choice? <laughs> balding? Balding by choice? Is that a real thing? I, who's ever heard of balding by choice? God, it's so good. You've obviously never seen me in person. Otherwise, you'd know that I'm the top G. And the top Accurate G don't though. Mean balding except for when I want to. I could grow out hair if I wanted. I'm the king of the world, and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I got Bugattis and mansions. Why'd I ever bother with hair? <laughs> Maybe she's trying to limit me in my style. <laughs> but I'm too powerful. I could take him Maybe shopping for some style. nice hats and holographic and wigs. Matrix. Plus, I wouldn't want to distract anyone from my perfectly twirled and waxed mustache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like when, when it's about balding, the, the one and the, the, one of the, the bigger experts we have already had on the show. Let's see what Asmon Gold has to say about this one. <laughs> True and real. <laughs> it's crazy how you can just ignore the matrix and go big dick anyway. I mean, who said you need to have hair to be the king of the world? I don't buy into the matrix either. I just do my own thing. Plus, you know, I'm always down for a well groomed mustache. I'm sure it looks fantastic, and I bet it does its job in distracting people from any lack of hair you may have. There it is. There it is, boys. What a day. Let's go, big dick energy. I'm going to do some squats when I hit the goal, just quietly. Um, Suri Hill asks Andrew Tate, what is your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza? Obviously, it's the pizza with the four Bugattis on top. Because if you have Bugattis, it's extra delicious. What? I'm the top G in a Bugatti, and I'm the king of luxury and excess. Uh, when you're a top G, you don't need any other <laughs> topping on your pizza, because the Bugatti topping by itself is perfect. Besides, you don't want to overcomplicate the pizza and keep it simple. If a pizza comes with four Bugattis, it's A-OK -okay with me. Bumba Clot pizza with no Bugattis ain't food. Um, I think, you know, like, we need, we need Hassan's take. That just ain't man. food anymore. Dude, I don't know what's worse. You, is it the capitalist mindset of trying to top the previous topping with even more Bugatti? Or is it the fact that top G's at the same time want to keep it simple? But I guess the ends justify the means, and this is what it takes to be a top G. Capitalism literally creates insane situations like a pizza having four Bugattis on top. Holy fuck, dude. Capitalism's shit, crazy. Dude. And why are y'all talking about pizza? Preach a song. We should really talk about the top of the hour ad break. <laughs> uh, Mark MC <laughs> underscore nine says, do you car carry a sword in jail, Andrew? Aha. Uh -huh. Funny you should ask that. My kung fu skills combined with the prison's abundantly supplied shivs means that I definitely don't need to physically carry a sword while in prison. After all, the top G is always prepared. I'm pretty sure I can fight like a badass just with my bare hands. Some rusty chewing gum and maybe a shampoo bottle. Matrix won't put me down. No way. <laughs> right. Right. Um, Smokes Harkman asks Andrew Tate, if you were a girl, would you date yourself? If I was a girl? Absolutely. <laughs> I wouldn't bother with dating anyone else. I'm the top G. It's not even a question. I mean, come on. Have you seen me? I'm six. I'm four. I have 24 cars. I know Aikido have conquered the internet 
and soon I will have conquered the world. Plus, to top it up, I'm so rich, I don't even have to think twice about how to pay for dates. With me, you know what you're getting. A wealthy, powerful, ultra-masculine man who knows exactly where everything is going. <laughs> Besides, I know I'm a great catch, so why waste my time with someone else when I can date myself? Plus, when the Matrix comes for me, I'll make sure I escape. So she'd be able to escape too. Ha ha ha. Oh okay, my fucking god, it's so good. Like, uh, would date himself. Let's see what Amaranth has to say about this. Oh, Amaranth had to take a minute to take this in. Why is it that Andrew Tate is always coming up with such wild ideas? Amaranth smiles, her cheeks turn pink as she responds, um, that's a very unique idea indeed, but I think it's very important to give other people the chance to make a good impression as well. I mean, who knows? Maybe a real life Prince Charming is right around the corner. Plus, you get to share the Matrix adventure with someone, which can be lots of fun. Amaranth winks, her eyes twinkling mischievously. She adds, plus, if things get really heated, you can always count on me and my bathtub to cool off in. Uh, I mean, with my microphones to listen to how water changes their sound. Okay. Uh, I want to also get XQC's uh, take on this one. Oh, that, what the, the fudge is Andrew Tate thinking? Look, I feel like you'd go crazy, dude. I'm That's just on Instagram so too. insane and fucked up for me. I don't get it. I mean, of course it's important to give other people a chance, but come on, chat. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> like, no, it's not just what? about giving other people a chance. It's about making sure that somebody's not too wild and crazy like Andrew Tate is, yeah? And like, maybe Prince Charming is, <laughs> is around the corner or whatever. But at the same time, chat, I don't know. It's just something that we have to watch out for. Plus, chat, I don't think I'm going to be oh, jumping in a bathtub anytime soon with microphones, let alone without them. So there's that. <laughs> making something out of nothing done. Wow. It's like that, you know, it's all right. It's cool. It's, so it's chill. Good. It's good that Amaranth has got us covered. Okay. Uh, Andrew Tate here. This is a question for me. I, I like to get, uh, you know, a little bit of drama questions. Instagram post, please go check Andrew it out. Andrew Tate, what do you think of Hassan? What do I think of Hassan? Well, let me tell you, Hassan is a broke boy who's scared of the top G. He's, he's obviously a fan of me. Otherwise, why would he spend all this time talking about me? But he doesn't have the balls to step up to the big leagues. That's why he's crazy envious of me and my success. He calls himself a progressive, but he obviously needs to crawl out of the matrix and see the world through my perspective. Ain't no way you can progress when you're scared of the top G while I'm rolling around in the matrix, taking on the system and coming out on top. I'm going to keep pimping the bitches and live my you. life how I want, and Hassan can just stay down in the dirt where he belongs. Oh. There's only one king of the world, and oh. it ain't Hassan. It's the oh. top G, and you better recognize. Because <laughs> in the end, everybody's just a worm for the top G to step on. What the fuck? Savage. Okay. We really need here, you know, Hassan, what he has to say about this. What is your comeback, Hassan? And Andrew Tate does not know how far Hassan has come from his beginnings to get where he is now. And he's definitely not scared of the top gut. He'd rather go toe to toe with the system and beat it at its own game. Also, Hassan doesn't recognize any king, not even the top G. Hassan is certain the system can be defeated and progress is possible. Oh, talking in third person. As for his progressive views, comes as no surprise since Hassan has been a big advocate for workplace democracy, universal health care, intersectional feminism, LGBTQ, plus rights and gun control since the beginning of his stream. The point I'm trying to make is Andrew Tate should check himself before he wrecks himself. And keep in mind that no one is second best to the son. The king of the world. No, shot no, the, the top I just ain't the king of the world. That. But the top of the hour ad break is here. Oh yeah, we got here uh, Vidi Veni, uh, Andrew, <laughs> how can a normie like me escape the matrix? You? Escape the matrix? Ha, huh, that's a good one. I mean, look at you, you're an absolute worm. Do <laughs> you even know what the matrix is? <laughs> you think your tiny little brain is capable of understanding and escaping this beast that controls us all? You can barely control your own life. I can't even distinguish this from AI from real body. As for escaping <laughs> the Matrix, I'm the only one that can do that. If you're trying to escape the Matrix, you've got to become the top G. I'm a master at Aikido. I know all the ins and outs, 